Travis Campbell here of actasap.net and I'm glad you're watching this video or listening to the audio. I have a special guest with me today on the line uh, and I'm going to introduce him in just a second but uh, before I do that if you're a user of an iPad or an Android device or an Android tablet device uh, and you're also an ACT user uh, you maybe are concerned or curious how in the world you're going to get data from ACT that you've invested over all these years to that device so that you can be effective in the field uh, supporting customers and prospects. Uh, and that's why I have today on the line with me uh, Rushong. And Rushong, why don't you tell us where you're dialing in from, what company you're with, and uh, a little bit about yourself. Hey, Travis. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh Calling in from Portland, Oregon, and, and represent Companion Link Software, and we are uh, uh, tongue in cheek, I guess, the oldest startup uh, in the world. Um, <laughs> Is that right? We've we've been around since the early '90s, ever since the first uh, Palm Pilot PDAs uh, came onto the scene, and we've been working directly with ACT, and then you know we've known you, Travis, for quite some time. Um, but we've been working with ACT ever since version 3.0 or 4.0. Um, so ACT, CRM space, uh, they're all, they're all we know them like in, in, in our back pocket, and uh, it, it's nothing new for us. Well, it's but, very unique to be with a technology company, to be talking with you in a technology company that's been around as long as you have. Uh, certainly you have some unique uh, visibility and opinions. We'll get to that in just a second. I want you to pay attention to the video to the end because Rashong is going to be sharing something that's just for ActASAP.net uh, YouTube subscribers or email list subscribers uh, to get a special a special deal uh, on what CompanionLink uh, has as a solution for some of these mobile users. So real quick, Rashong, uh, yeah, you guys have been around for so long. You've seen the mobile industry mature to the point where it's at now, and we actually were just talking about the rate of change has just been tremendous in the last 24 to 36 months. Talk a little bit about what you've seen kind of as the evolution of mobile computing, uh, mobile portability of data, and kind of where you see things things going with uh, with mobile uh, smartphones and, and, and tablets and such. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's a foregone conclusion that, that devices are getting more intelligent with time. Uh, the, the initial devices were the PDAs, they were not phones. We've made the jump from PDAs to, to mobile phones, and from that we're now into this world of smartphones and smart devices, like a tablet device, like an iPad. Um, so that, that, according to Moore's law, that, that, that continues to move forward. What hasn't changed much are the basic fundamental rules of mobile productivity. So what, what we defined as business productivity in the old days with Act, for example, uh, the rules of that still hold true. What's different is the medium through which we achieve productivity. In the old days, it was the PC and, and act on the PC. Today, it's an iPad. And, and the biggest question people have is, how do I get all this data that I've invested years of time and money into, this, this powerful act database I have, how do I get all that data onto my iPad or my iPhone or my, or my brand new Android device? And, and that's the question that people come to us with, and and it turns out that there, there there's a number of answers to that. Right, and you know, the the reality is that the rate of change, the pace of change of technology, mobile computing, tablets like the iPad, Android, or other operating systems um, are going to continue to accelerate change. I think, um, but the reality is there's still that need, right, for vendors. Uh, software vendors to make this data that they've invested in available on those those mobile devices. And until now, uh, really, you guys have been the leader in, in providing this this type of capability for for users for some time now. Is that right? No, that's that's exactly right. And and the phenomenon that we're we're seeing is that uh, the the irony, if you will, is that smartphones are actually pretty dumb when it comes to business functionality. You mentioned that earlier when we spoke. Explain what you what you mean by smartphones getting dumb. Go ahead. They're, they're, the user experience, uh, the screens, the horsepower, the specs and everything behind them continue to push forward at, at just bottleneck speed, a breathtaking speed. And what's really missing is, is the business productivity side. These devices like the, the iPhone 5 or 
you know, the Evo 3G that just came out the other day. Um, they're amazing consumer devices. They do basic, you know, PIM information like contacts and calendar. They do it well. Um, they do mapping well. They do email well, social media. You know, they have apps for that. But what's missing is the business component. And that's why a lot of people who make the move from traditional devices like Blackberries and Palm devices to these new platforms, they're left scratching their heads saying, well, I invested $200, $300 in this device, and over the course of 24 months, it's another you know, $1,500 worth of carrier plan. But it still can't do the basic business features that my older device was really great at doing. And that's the role we're looking to fill, and that's the role Companion Link and, and Deja Office, which is our mobile app, is looking to fill is, is okay, we have all this great horsepower, we have all you know, beautiful screen, we have all this great technology. How do we port over the business benefits that these older devices have had to these to these new platforms? And that's the goal of Companion. Well, I'm so glad that you're you're willing to come on this this call, this video, this recording, because I think there are a lot of people they do get wowed. Uh, but the reality is that they're stuck when it comes to getting the data that they're used to. You know, if you're listening to this and you haven't yet bought an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device and you're thinking about how, how to get the ACT data over to it, congratulations. Um, you, you know, you're thinking ahead. For those that have already bought and you're in a situation like, what do I do? Um, I'm also glad you're on this, uh, watching this video because... Uh, Rashawn, talk about what you guys uh, uh, do uh, in a little more detail, and then uh, what you have to offer for uh, for our readers and, and listeners and subscribers. Absolutely. So, so, if you have an ACT database, and say you have an Android or, or an iPad, um, they, there's two components to getting that data from ACT and in, onto the smart device that you have. The first component is a PC product called Companion. And Companion Link runs on the PC, and it, and it ensures that any changes you make on the ACT database are being pushed to your mobile device. The, the second component is the actual app on the mobile device. Now, whether you have an Android or an iOS device, the app is the same. It's called Deja Off. Mm -hmm. And that app sits on the device, and it gathers all the information, your ACT data that you're sending over from the PC to, to your device. So things like ACT contact, ACT calendar activity, to do's, notes, histories, all that good CRM data is making its way onto your device into this one app, this business suite called Deja Off. And there's multiple ways to get that data from ACT to Deja Office. The, the traditional USB sync approach where you dock your phone to your PC and click the synchroniz synchronization button, that does work and that, that works great for devices like Android OS devices. Um, we also have wireless synchronization methods where we use the local Wi-Fi network in your office to push data between ACT and your phone. Um, there, there's things via Google where a lot of people nowadays also, in addition to their CRM, they have a hosted Google account, a Gmail account. You can sync ACT data to, to the Gmail account, which will then uh, populate your Android phone or it'll sync over to your iOS device like an iPad or iPhone. Um, we have, Companion Link has its own secure hosted wireless subscription service. And that service gives you the AES 256-bit encryption, the level that HIPAA and all, a lot of these other regulations require. Um, but it gives you the direct sync directly from the ACT database to your phone. So there's no middleman in, in a cloud like Google or Gmail. Well, and that's a, that's a really good point. Let me just interrupt here. For people that are concerned, there are a lot of people that are concerned about having contact data, too much information either on Facebook or anywhere, uh, but with, with Google and their Google contacts. So... Yeah, I realize that there's a there's some sort of a nominal fee for that, but the peace of mind of the encrypted security that you just are doing, a, you're just acting as a bridge uh, to wirelessly sync, and none of that data is being left out at, on a particular service like Google. Um, for people that want to protect their data, that is really a a great option because they can sync wirelessly and have that convenience, but know that it's secure and it's going right back to their to their desktop. Correct. That's, that's absolutely correct, and, and the, the other benefit to that is the end-to-end -end process in that scenario is, is managed under Canyon Link. Right. We, we control the entire process. If you were to go through something like Google, we, get, we control the process from the ACT database to the Google account. But what happens from there is not us. Right, right. Very good, very good. Well, uh, as promised, I want to let folks that have waited this long uh, in on 
uh, a special offer that uh, that you're extending to to our subscribers. Uh, it's a little bit of a discount, is it not? It is. Uh, we're going to give you five dollars off, and in fact, if you if you buy before the end of the summer, uh, before September first, twenty eleven, uh, we'll give you ten dollars off. There's the coupon code that Travis will will have uh, to offer you on this. Excellent. Yeah, you're seeing it right on the screen now. It's also in the description or the notes of this particular video, or right there on the post at ActASAP. Net. Well, Rashawn, thank you so much for coming on. Any final words or bits of wisdom for folks from your perspective, being in the mobile industry for so long? Um, we're, you know, we're in a very uh, rapidly moving industry, so things change every day. The, the the level of access we have changes every day. So even if I were to give you any predictions, they would probably obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Well, thank you again for for coming on and, and taking some time out of your busy day. I uh, hope that you found this video valuable and the information shared useful to you. Uh, if you need to get ACT data on an iPad or an Android, uh, you can use the Companion Link technology to get done. It's affordable, you're getting a great deal, uh, and uh, there are a couple different options for you to do that. And tell folks real quick, if they have an issue with the software, uh, what, what kind of support do you offer? We've, we've long understood that this is a complex-based mobile industry, so we've always offered free phone and email support uh, to all customers. Um, we also offer tiered uh, uh, products such as paid support, which allow our reps to log into your PC and configure everything for you. Those are paid, but the basic phone and email support are always free. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Rashawn, and thank you to CompanionLink for uh, extending this great offer to readers and subscribers. My name is Travis Campbell of ActASAP.net. Checking in here from Westminster, Colorado with my distinguished guest, Rushong of CompanionLink out in Oregon. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll look forward to speaking with you next time on the web.